Hey, what's up guys? Joe here, and I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys the green screen setup now that I have it finished. Well, I guess it's not completely finished. It's always a work in progress. Um, but I got the, uh, the can lights hung up. Now, the video that I made the other day, I talked about buying three of these can lights, and after I got them set up, I realized that I needed more light. So I went and bought three more. But the idea that I had works really good. As you can see, they put a lot of light on the green screen. You probably won't be able to tell from this camera at this angle because it's a older, cheaper camera. But they work really good. I think if you had a smaller green screen, then two of these lights or, or three of these lights would work just fine. But I've got a six by nine screen and so I need even light all the way across and I've got my studio lights um, adjusted all the way down as short as they'll go to cover lighting on the bottom half of the screen and then I also have a third light right there which is the smaller of the three lights that comes in that kit and that right there shines on me while I'm sitting in the chair or standing in front of the green screen and then I've got my camera tripod here and I've got my my, my uh, cords and stuff there. And I was going to tape them down to the floor, but I decided not to in case I have to move them. But I do have tape marked on the floor because after a lot of uh, trial and error, I figured out the best place for my lights. So I've got them marked with tape on the floor. I even have an X on the floor that shows where I will stand or where I will sit so that all I have to do is come down here and plug it, plug the, uh, the cords in and turn on the lights and I'm ready to record. I even have it marked on the floor where my tripod will sit so that I don't have to readjust everything every time because once you get everything dialed in the last thing you want to do is have to redo it every time you want to record a video. So I hope you guys will find this helpful. I know that I've been working on my green screen uh, since last year when I got it and toying around with the settings and the lighting and everything and it's really tricky to get a really nice chroma key effect in a video. I think the next thing I'm going to do is figure out a way to build a, a frame for the green screen so that I can uh, fasten it to the wall better because right now I'm using duct tape. And the problem with that is, is that the duct tape does not want to stay stuck to the screen itself because it's made out of uh, cotton, I believe, and the tape just only sticks for a little while. So if I make a video today, then tomorrow when I come down here, the tape will have already released itself from the green screen, and that is kind of kind of pain in the bottom. <laughs> I don't really like having to do that. So, and because my wall is concrete. The only other thing I could do is build a wooden frame and drill that into the wall and then fasten the screen to that. So I don't know if I want to go that far yet. Um, I'm still trying to think of an idea where I could uh, fasten the screen to the wall because I want it to be tight without any wrinkles. That makes uh, a lot easier when it comes to uh, removing the, or doing the chroma key effect in the video. Well, anyway, that's all I've got. I wanted to make this short and just show you guys uh, what I've done. Tell me in the comment section below what you think about my setup here. And if you have any uh, questions about green screen and chroma key or the editing software uh, to use and that sort of thing, please let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to help you guys. Well, this is Joe with Vision Network, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've chosen two videos that you might enjoy. If you'd like to, click video one or click video two. If you're interested in following me on my personal Facebook page, just follow the link joe.d.mcclung. Or if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it is vision underscore network. Thanks for watching.